In Perpetual Guardian Money Matters today, we are continuing our information about KiwiSaver. Now, Charlotte, good morning. Who have you brought with you today? So I've got uh, Vanya Thomas. She's a Senior Relationship Manager with Guardian Trust, a corporate trustee. So she's going to talk to us a, bit, a little bit about what that is and also about taking money out of your KiwiSaver if you need a lump sum. Ah, interesting. Vanya, good morning. Good morning. First up, Guardian Trust, a corporate trustee. What does that exactly mean? Yes, well, we're a financial market supervisor. We're licensed by the Financial Markets Authority. And KiwiSave is one of the products where a supervisor is required at law. So part of our role is to safeguard the funds, and we do that by holding them on trust. Okay. And also we're there really to make sure that people's money is invested in the way that the offer documents indicated that it would be. Right, that we sounds act. like a very good thing to do. Yes, absolutely. We act in the best interests of the investors, part of our role. And also, I mean, when you boil it down, we're there to make sure that the providers do the right thing. Okay, and they're not spending our money willy-nilly, exactly. buying strange, investing in strange things all over the place. That's the one. That's quite reassuring. <laughs> so, can we make an early withdrawal from our KiwiSaver? Well, the answer is yes, but the circumstances are really limited. And that's because the scheme is there to encourage long-term savings. So. In assessing applications, the legal parameters are really strict. So a couple of situations where the supervisor gets involved in making the decision, significant financial hardship and also serious illness. So hardship is about a person not being able to pay for the basics of life. Okay. So we're looking at food and shelter and medical care. So I can't say, oh, I really need a new car better dip into the KiwiSaver. No, that's right. And also there can't be sort of some money sitting in another account that could be accessed instead. Okay, that's my holiday money. Don't want yeah. to spend that. I'll go into the KiwiSaver. Yeah. Okay, but if you're very, very sick and perhaps you have something life-threatening, you can access it. That's right. So serious illness has an extremely prescriptive test that goes with it. Basically, a person has to be permanently unable to work or if the illness poses an imminent risk of death, you know, unless one of those two situations applies, the supervisor can't you okay. know, allow the application. So if we do want to access the funds, who do we need to talk to about that? Well, you need to talk to your provider, so that's the fund manager. So they collate all the information, they carry out the initial assessment, and then make a recommendation you know, to the supervisor, so they'll help with the forms that need to be filled out and with the supporting information. Sometimes people aren't sure mm -hmm. who their KiwiSaver provider actually is. Yes. But they can contact Inland Revenue by calling 0800 KiwiSaver. And they can find out. Yeah. Uh, so what would be your advice then to people watching the cafe right now if they're thinking about maybe accessing their KiwiSaver funds? So it really needs to be a last resort, Mel, but if they are in that situation, then contact the provider as soon as possible. So it can take some time to actually go through the process, particularly if some information is missing. And so there are teams who are experienced and really assessing the applications quickly, but if there's information missing, it can get a little bit protracted. Okay, because otherwise you're gonna hit old age uh, if you take it out now and you're not gonna have anything. Well, that's right. Which that's is not going to be well, less than ideal, isn't it? Yeah. Less than ideal. Yeah. Well, that's been very, very interesting, very enlightening. Uh, so, thank you so much. I really appreciate that advice. I'm sure all of our viewers do as well.